classical hypothesis tests are available within R and we can make use of the R commander GUI to perform various variants of the t-test. So there's the one sample t-test, there's a two sample t-test where we have independent samples and there's a paired t-test. So what we will do is to use the mass package which we will lo load through the tools menu. So tools load package and then we'll get a list of the packages that are available in our installation. We'll scroll through until we find mass on the list. Select it and click OK and we'll see that it's been loaded into our session. So the data set that we're going to use we can get access to through the data menu, data in packages, read data set from an attached package. So we double click on mass as that's the package that we're interested in looking into to find the data and then we'll scroll through the various data sets that are available, select crabs from there. So we can click here help on select data sets so if there is help information available then it will get put here in whatever system we're using to view help within R. So we're going to look at the FL variable, which is the frontal lobe size, the measurement in millimetres, and to test whether that is larger or smaller than a particular value. So what we're interested in doing is to load that data in. So we click OK here, and we'll see that we've got 200 rows and 8 columns. So if we go to the summaries, active data set, we'll get information about the different variables in our data and we'll see that the frontal lobe mean measurement is 15.58 millimeters. So what we will do here is we will select a value, let's say 15 millimeters, and we'll test to see whether there's evidence from this sample that the average frontal lobe measurement is different to 15 millimeters. So from the statistics menu, we'll go to the mean submenu and then the single sample t-test. We select the variable frontal lobe and our hypothesis is that it's 15 millimeters. The alternative is we're interested in if it's larger than or smaller than that value. So we have the two-sided alternative hypothesis and our confidence level is 95%. So we get the t-test output here. Our t-statistic is 2.35 p-value is between 1% and 5%, so there's some evidence that actually the mean frontal lobe measurement is probably different to 15 millimeters. Now a nice side effect of the t-test function is we get a confidence interval on the mean value that we've worked out here. Now actually we know that this data set has got both male and female crabs, so we could consider a two sample independent test to compare the average frontal lobe measurement for male and female crabs. So from the statistics means menu we do independent samples t-test so our grouping is the variable sex f or m for female and male crabs and then fl for the frontal lobe measurement. We might be interested in whether or not they're different. We don't assume that the variances are equal because we haven't done that test, which we could actually do, but in general it's usually sensible to assume that they're not equal. So we click OK and we'll see a very similar summary here. We've got our t-statistic, but this is quite a large p-value. So we haven't got any evidence here that the average frontal load measurement is different for male and female crabs. Now we touched briefly on testing whether or not we have equal variances for the two groups. And what we could do here is the variances submenu from the statistics menu, two variances F test. So our variable is the frontal lobe measurement, the grouping is sex. The alternative is that it could be either larger than or smaller than each other, confidence level 95%. Click OK and we'll have a test. We've got an F statistic, a very large p value. So we've got very little, if any, evidence at all that the variances for the two groups are different. So to look at paired t-tests, we'll look at another data set from the mass package. And this is the data set called shoes, which has got various measurements on the wear to shoes that are on the left or the right foot. Now what we've got is that each of the um, people in the test, so there are 10 boys, has got a shoe on each foot, and there's a um, different, the two types of materials that we're comparing and one material goes on one foot while the other material goes on the other. 
However, it's switched over between the two, so we don't always have one material on one side. So we've got two measurements for each particular person, in this case boy, in the trial. So if we look at the data, we can see that we've got information about the two materials across the ten boys. So if we want to do a paired t-test, we go to the statistics means paired t-test. So um, our commander works out that that's a particular option for this data set. So we say that we want columns labelled A and B to indicate the two materials here. We're interested in a difference. So again, we're doing two-sided, 95% confidence. And we click OK. And we see a similar output to the other tests. So it's got here, what we see here, it's the same t.test function, but here it's working out as a paired t-test because it's set paired equal to true. So our t-value here gives us p-value less than 1%. So we've got quite strong evidence here that the wear on the, the shoes is more, or rather it's different, for the two different materials that have been considered.